Okay, so in this question, we have a rectangle that is uh, inside of a regular hexagon. Um, I am sure, even though it doesn't look like it, that these things are supposed to actually match up, like the rectangle is supposed to be here on the corner rather than not having that little bit right there. But because of the uh, discrepancies with the Word document that we were using, um, it looks like it got moved over a little bit. But let's assume that they actually go to the corners because that would be impossible to see how much that is any other way. Okay, so we know we have a side length of 12, and it's regular, so all of these are 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, and 12, and 12, and 12. So it'd be really nice if we could find the area of um, the height here, or rather the length of the height, because if we could find the height, then the rectangle is just base times height, and it's 12 times something, and the problem is really easy. Okay, so let's see if we can do that. <clears throat> Now, that requires you to have one piece of knowledge, and that is to know that the rectangle here is simply two apothems put together. Okay, the apothem goes from the center of your hexagon perpendicular to your side. Okay, and if you put a hexagon together, you have two opposite ones, and there's a whole, I mean, there's a whole bunch of other ones over here also, don't forget. Okay. But the height of this rectangle is simply uh, two apothems of this triangle. Okay, so let's deal with that. So that makes it a lot easier. So let's see. I know that this is six, right? That's half of your base. And this has an angle of 30 degrees. And I want to figure out what my apothem is. Okay, so there is a tangent relationship here. The trig tan of 30 equals 6 over A. So the apothem is 6 divided by the tangent of 30. Okay, when you cross, multiply, and divide. Now, I am not actually going to put that in the calculator because I don't have one sitting here handy with me. So just bear with me for a second. The area of your rectangle, so I'm going to draw a rectangle, is 12 times... That's the base. Remember, the height is two of these. Two, six over the tangent of 30s. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to grab a calculator real quick. Let me find one so I can actually do this multiplication. Oh, there one is. 12 times 2 times 6 divided by the tangent of 30. Mm. 249.415 units squared would be the area of that rectangle. There you go.